Hi, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. Tonight we're going to do a Facebook Live on menopause and essential oils Q&A. These are questions that have come in this week and over the last few years we've gotten that we tried to answer and respond to. So we just laid them all out here. Brecken's made a big list of them. And she's ready to, you're going to ask me the questions, right, yep. Brecken? I'm asking you blind. Brecken's our wonder, our wonder um, moderator, and she's going to do a great job. <laughs> we hope. Uh, Jackson's here, too. What are you doing, Jackson? Are you playing games? What are you doing? I'm playing games. <laughs> Jackson will play the kazoo or whatever that is. What is that thing? Kalimba. Oh, here it is. I, well, you play it. Uh, didn't you play it last time? I'm not playing it. Wasn't that good? Don't even, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> That's our theme song. Yes. I don't know what it was. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Mm -hmm. What happened to the Star Wars theme song? You did that so well. In 12-part harmony. <laughs> Play it. Play it, brother. Play it. <laughs> I could, Jackson, you should be married by now. That, that skill on the Columbus should... Man, I can't... What's up with that? Okay. My mom does tell me that every day. That's <laughs> how you attract a wife. Play the Columba. <laughs> And sing to her mm. and make a cake. You got to build a cake for her. Oh, I am a crooner. What's that movie that where they built the cake? <laughs> Isn't that um, Napoleon Dynamite? Right? <laughs> yeah. well, that's Jackson right I there. Built cake. Okay. okay, so we're going to, oh, $25 off the CNA and Redox. That's pretty awesome. I won't do the CNA now without the Redox. It's so important to get those 52 antioxidants. It's crazy. Yeah, I know that I figured the whole thing out. It's monstrous. Um, and $15 off Serum X, which has never been done. This will be the lowest price it'll ever be sold at. If you put in the secret code, I will give you later in this live. Yeah, it's going to be later in this live. Yeah, we're going to torture you and not give it to you now. It will be a secret code. Um, so why don't we just start this thing off? And at the end, we'll find four our favorite four questions, Brecken's favorite four questions that she'll try to, to bust the bank with and ask me things that I shouldn't know. And uh, I don't know half these questions. I don't even know what you're asking me tonight, but <laughs> you've apparently got set this whole thing up. Anyway, um, so yeah. <clears throat> and then those four people will win an autographed copy of a map of how to get to your house. No. <laughs> Was of, of our menopause and essential oil book, which was number one. So if you if you download the book or if you haven't downloaded the book, go to Amazon, search for Dan Purser MD, and then find my essential oil on Amazon. Sorry, essential oil menopause book. Um, I can't. I've been reading it all day today. I can't even remember the name of it. Anyway, you think I'd know nice. the name? I wrote the book, but mm -hmm. um, I've written a lot of books. Um, essential oils and menopause. Is that what it is? Really? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think so. That's, I don't think it was something funny we did. You don't think did. you wrote that? We did keyword. You, we messed around with the keywords to make it sell better. What oh, is sorry. it called? Essential oils and healthy menopause. Essential oils and healthy menopause. Yeah, and then go on Kindle, search for Dan Purser MD on Amazon. Go get that book. It's 99 cents. I've been saying it's a dollar. Sorry, it's even cheaper. 99 cents. If you do download it and skim through it and read it, Please leave me an honest review. I really need the reviews on that book. So how many reviews does it have now? Where's it ranking right now? I don't know. I don't know. That's hard to see a little. Oh, I was hoping Jackson could tell me. Is it number one? I don't think so. One, Katie said she bought the book on Amazon, read it on Friday, like read the whole thing in the evening. So much great info. Thank you. Yeah, I Thanks. really did a lot of research on it. It's number three? Yeah. Number three. Can you take a screenshot of that? Yeah. Dang. In one category, anyway. Well, whatever. We'll take what we can get. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be that. Clive Cussler's newest murder mystery book, is it? No. I have no idea who that is. It's a really popular author. I'm not a really popular author. Among my followers, I'm popular. Download the book. Everyone download it now. 99 cents, please. Download that book. Okay. So a lot of this stuff tonight is going to It's kind of all the stuff's in the book, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know about all of it, but a lot of it is. Some things. Okay. So download the book, 99 cents. You'll have it forever. You can memorize it. Quiz me at conferences and, and um, oil events and Young Living events, stuff like that. 
He's going to try and mess with me by asking me a question from that book, which I won't remember. So okay, well, you're going to about to see that right now. Okay. I've forgotten more than I've learned. You have? That's pretty frightening, isn't it? My brain's just mush. You've forgotten more than you've learned. How is that even possible? I'm sliding backwards. But that would mean you'd know nothing. I you'd do know, know nothing. I know less than nothing. <laughs> summed it up. Okay. Ask me the questions. Okay. Quit, quit, Let's dive in. Quit. Yeah, play what with me. What is the definition of menopause? A pause in your menses. Wow. Yeah, so it pauses. But really, it's kind of a permanent pause. Yeah, is it actually a pause or a full stop? Yeah, it's a permanent thing, full stop. Yeah. No, it, it really isn't because a lot of women pause and start, pause and start, pause. Really? Yeah, and they can do that for a year or two or three. It drives them nuts. They'll have a period after seven months or a year. They'll be like, what is this? Yeah. Okay. How, oh wait, what is the average age for menopause? 51 in the U.S. Among white females, about 50 in, among African-American females. Interesting. And how do you know you're officially in menopause? You have the official definition for menopause is no menses or period for six months. Gotcha. Am I doing good? Do I get a prize for doing this? No. I just get to go home and collapse in bed exhausted. That's your prize. Because I am brain fried after these. <laughs> um, can you start into menopause and then pop back out? Yeah, it's just like I said, yeah, pop back out. <laughs> They're like calling me going, why am I with another period? How common is that? Is that pretty common? Not very common. What causes menopause? Your ovaries are worn out. They're fr they're freeze dried, frazzled. They're just they're done. The last egg has left the left the house, and you're done. Makes last sense. egg gone. <laughs> no more. What's the oldest patient you've seen not in menopause? Seventy year old kids brought her in. Seventy. Yes, yeah, seventy kids brought her in. She didn't have cancer or anything. She's just having periods. She looked a lot younger than her age. She looked really nice and um, and youthful. And uh, they were like, you know, the hardest question I had to answer was, can she get pregnant? I'm like, probably. <laughs> well, they hated hearing that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so they, they back came on glue when I told you them. You had a really old, like, pregnancy patient. When I was in ago. medical school. Yeah. Yeah, we delivered a 68-year-old. Yeah, 68. Yeah. Man. Yeah, Jackson, Mississippi, where I went to medical school, the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson. Great school. Yeah. Sweaty and hot, but great school. <laughs> it was not air conditioned. <laughs> well, I was back in what? The 80s. <laughs> oh, you said that. <laughs> Sorry. It was kind of air conditioned, mm -hmm. but not that well. Do you the hospital wasn't air conditioned yeah. at all. It's air conditioned here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So happier? Yeah, I feel good now. Do you deliver babies now still? No, no. When I first was in practice, I delivered quite a few, and in residency, I delivered a lot. And I, I was going to be the full service family practitioner, blah, 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 and then I, I pulled it out of that. It's just not worth the risk. Yeah. What's the youngest woman you've seen in menopause? 28. 28. But she really wasn't in menopause. Yeah. I get a lot of these. I get about three a month of these women who are in menopause and they're in their 20s or 30s or 40s you know what the common denominator what they all say they what this one symptom they all have immense fatigue mm. because what's causing that early or that it's called ovarian failure what's causing the ovarian failure you know do they know vitamin deficiencies they're malnourished so remember when i say good nutrition in equals good hormones out they don't have good nutrition so, and it's easy to have happen. All the patients, all the people who are following me on this right now who know, even me, I had horrible vitamins about nine months ago, eight, ten months ago. Mm -hmm. They were horrible. Yeah. Uh, and I'd been doing spectra cells on myself, but that new CNA shows such much more better results. And it looks at three times the number of vitamins, antioxidants, and all that. It's just a lot more accurate and same technology yeah. as spectra cells. When you say good nutrition, you don't necessarily even mean the foods you're eating because when you, you can, get far enough behind, you can't eat enough food to yeah. give you some vitamins. Yeah, like an acetol or B12 or you, good luck. Well, and it also is based on your genetics too, right? Yeah, it's, it's a problem with your genetics because it'll block your genetics will 
can block the absorption of certain vitamins. Don't believe that? Go go Google Folar 1, Folar 2, and Folar 3 genetic errors. F-O-L-R-1, F-O-L-R-2, and F-O-L-R-3. They, it, those are the genes that code for folate receptors. We have three different kinds of folate receptors. Well, you're missing one type of folate receptors. You won't absorb that type of folate. So I see that all the time. Yeah. So real common here in the U.S. is folar 2 receptor deficiencies. That's for folic acid. You can't absorb it. That's what I have. Yeah, it's really common around here, especially in Utah. It's a Northern European thing. Um, okay. How does menopause start, and what are the symptoms at first? Usually starts a few years, like three to four to five years before you go into menopause. You can start six months. You can start the day before. But usually it's two or three years. You start with hot flashes, night sweats, usually. Gotcha. And those are usually temporary, or are they long-term? I've seen them both. Some women go through menopause really easily and readily. I, they're not my patients, it's, which is too bad because they're going to have problems anyway from lack of those key hormones. Um, but I've seen women who have horrible hot flashes for a year, two, or three, and then it goes away. But most of the women I take care of have them. Sorry, your camera's focused on the mic, <laughs> so you're a little blurry. There you go. Now it went back in. I don't know why. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't moved. I know. I just went Has on the mic. That, it just no, it just long. barely. Is it like a ghost thing? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. spooky. The menopause the ghost. The menopause ghost. Melba bun burner. When you start talking about hot flashing, it's a ghost of the hot flash. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, and I've seen women who have them, and they're 93 and still having them. Yeah. 98 and still having them. Had them all their since they went through menopause but they shouldn't go on forever right unless i don't know yeah, well, yeah you can get progesterone that makes them go away yeah so natural progesterone okay so that's usually what causes a decline in hot flashes it's so first you get a decline in, in progesterone when you're entering menopause the first thing that declines is progesterone that's where you start getting the hot flashes at night so it's crazy periods all that gotcha Next question. And what are the other causes of hot flashes? Lack of DHEA, lack of pregnenolone, lack of thyroid, lack of estradiol, lack of testosterone. There's about 5% that are caused by other things other than hot flash, than low progesterone, sorry. 5% of hot flashes nights what they're caused by things other than progesterone. Like and those I things just you named just listed. Them. Yeah, yeah, these other hormones. And sometimes I can't find it. Mm -hmm. Rare, but Trust me, some of the women out there can tell you, we couldn't find it. We looked at everything. We tried everything. <clears throat> I have a quite a armamentarium to bring to bear on those heart flashes. Yeah. Yeah. What do Young Living um, Oilers use for hot flashes usually? Uh, Progestins Plus. It really supports uh, their progesterone levels. It's magical. It's wonderful. We actually make it for Young Living. That they're com one of my companies do does it's a great product um eight drops a night more another drop randomly during the day if you get another hot flash or night sweat don't take it in the morning i know the bottle says that don't try to get it removed they won't do it um it'll make you sleepy make you sleepy right yeah yeah so progestin plus and what's an alternative that an essential oiler can take to help these symptoms uh I want to say myrtle. No, myrtle's for thyroid. Oh, uh, chase tree berry. Mm. Uh, we make a chase tree berry product. It's for <laughs> Justin's Phyto Plus. It's, it's sold in Asia and Europe by Young Living. Chase tree berry. So that's another good option. Well, the monks and the sisters in medieval times chewed, chewed the leaves and the berries and, the, and all that of the chase tree to get rid of their hot flesh. And that's what monks did it to decrease their, their desire. Mm. So interesting, actually. Yeah, progesterone will decrease your testosterone. It causes inflammation down there. It's not a good thing for men. For men. What hormone usually drops next if it's not progesterone? In menopause. Uh, testosterone usually goes next. Mm. 
And what's the symptom of low testosterone in women? Loss of libido, loss of muscle recovery. They start losing their muscles. They, the number one symptom I usually hear is dryness, vaginal dryness. I think I can say that probably just got bleeped on Facebook, but eyes, mouth, dry, vagina. If you have those, you have low testosterone. And until you deal with that, the doctor will try and give you a style. They'll try and give you birth control pills. They'll try and give you all kinds of weird stuff. They'll, they'll tell you have, um, Ren uh, not Renaud's, but that other dry, the dry mouth problem. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. it's usually not. It's usually low testosterone. 99% mm -hmm. of the time it's low testosterone. So if you have a dry mouth, dry eyes, and dry vagina, and it's painfully dry, you need testosterone. You need to bring up your testosterone. You need testosterone in that area. So how do you do that? What can you take? I, young living people, I tell them to use PD8020 because the body readily converts DHEA and pregnenolone, mainly pregnenolone, super fast to um, testosterone. So, but if you have a family history of breast cancer primary, like a mom, sister, daughter, or you, don't take oral DHEA. Can't do it. You increase your risk for breast cancer. But DHEA otherwise won't increase your risk. It's just a master hormone. But only in those women that studies have shown that take it orally after they've had breast cancer or a primary uh, family member has had it. Gotcha. So DHA, pregnenolone, that's what's in PD8020P, pregnenolone, D, DHA. And you don't take it every day. You don't take it twice a day. For goodness sakes, take it two to three times a week hmm. to bring up your testosterone. What about an oil? Is there an oil you can take or use? Mountain Savory. I've Mountain never even Sa heard of that. Mountain Savory is awesome. It's converted. Yeah, it can really bring up your libido and testosterone. Mountain Savory. I just blew up all the sales at Young Living with Mountain <laughs> Savory. God, they'll, they'll be calling me tomorrow <laughs> if they have the dryness problem. Yeah, what about that? You know what? They need to, they need to call my office. They need to call here because I'm not going to. And that's, you can take a testosterone, compounded testosterone cream, but for more natural options, I can give you those options. And also we're working on something I think Young Living will like for that too. So they need to call about that one. And by the way, guys, this or video, email us. we are recording, so you can rewatch this as many times as you like once we're done with the live. So just uh, if there's interruptions just know you can watch it again later but someone might share on there there is something available on amazon you can get but i'm not going to put it up here gotcha so um what is dha it's a master hormone that your adrenals and your ovaries make uh, so it's both an adrenal hormone and a master hormone from your ovaries when you're in menopause the level drops dramatically i like seeing a level of 300 to four uh, sorry 200 to 300 in women, 400 to 500 in men. So um, that's my favorite level for that. Um, and um, But you'll readily convert DHEA to testosterone. Matter of fact, you use DHEA to form testosterone and pregnenolone too. They both readily form testosterone. Gotcha. Pregnenolone's a brain hormone. Sorry I brought that one up. but Yeah, it jumped ahead. Um, Oh, were you going to ask me that? I was. It was on my list. Oh, sorry. Somehow you... Pregn well, yeah, I cover this stuff all the time. Yeah. Pregnenolone is another m critical brain hormone, but it also is made in the ovaries and in your, in your adrenals um, and elsewhere. But, um, yeah, you readily, you more quickly even convert that. Men don't do as well converting DHA and, and pregnenolone to testosterone. But women do it readily. Interesting. Yeah. But... Who should not take DHEA? Told you. I forgot. Yeah, women who've had a primary risk factor for breast cancer. Oh, gotcha. Or a history of breast cancer in their fam immediate family. Makes sense. Back to pregnenolone. You kind of explained what it is already. Um, do you have any other things about that? It really gives you good memory, helps your brain thing. PDA20 is a cool product. It's really the product I, I quite liked when probably that's why I really started talking for. For young living, because of pregnant, I have PD eighty twenty, and that's oh. the one you only take 
two or three two times people. a week. Yeah. No. Or you'll really. break out like a 16 year old and it'll be bad. Yeah. Do you prescribe testosterone for women often? I do. Cream. Compounded cream to use vaginally under their arm or but and they're on the inside their thighs. But yeah. But Small not dose. Shots. Not what? pellets. I, I've used pellets in the past and last resort, I will use them, but I prefer not to. Yeah. Women like to be in charge more. They like to be able to adjust their dose. They have date night with their hubs. They're, they want to increase their testosterone. That's up to them, get in the mood, all that. Makes sense. What's the final hormone that goes into decline in menopause? Uh, we've talked for them so far, estradiol, mm. estrogen. And what do you suggest? And it can go into, sorry, it can go into decline up to three or four years after they go through menopause. It's after. weird. Yeah. Mm. You'll keep measuring them and I'll go, wow, it's been three years and your estrogen level is still 123. Good job, Melba. Yeah. I don't know Melba, but there's probably one out there. I know hmm. there's a lot of women who don't like taking any estrogen and they want like more natural options. Do you have some that you... Well, it's hard to get more natural than estrogen, but... If they want an essential well, oil option, prescriptions, I say. clear sage. Clear sage is amazing. Lavender and clear sage both can help, but clear sage is the bomb. Um, and what's the main product in clear sage is scleriol. And scleriol is really crazy good for mimicking estradiol. It does not, it's not estradiol. It doesn't give you the risk, the clotting risk or the breast cancer risk or Anything like that for taking estradiol. Well, oh, by the way, progesterone will not give you breast cancer ever. Um, doesn't do it. It kills breast cancer. Um, and uh, but estradiol, and even if you're PR positive, progesterone receptor positive, it did not give you the, the breast cancer. Trust me, it only causes apoptosis. And maybe maybe you'll ask me something about that later. But um, estradiol, you are uh, you are positive, estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, it can cause breast cancer. Gotcha. So that's when women shy away from it. Also it can cause clots in certain women. So scleriol or lady scleriol or, or sclerescence or um, clary sage are great options. I have now almost 800 labs on women who should not have normal estradiol levels and do because they use clary sage or scleriol Maybe or sclerescence. Regularly, huh? Yeah. I don't get it. There's nothing in the literature, though it is known. You Google it. It does. Everyone kind of knows it does act like estradiol, but no, there's no real hard data. I don't know if it mimics it so the lab equipment's confused, or if it's. I don't think it's really increasing your estradiol levels. I think, and I talk about that in that book mm -hmm. I wrote. So go get the book. Ninety nine cents. Leave a review. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it works great. I have a lot of women with breast cancer who've had breast cancer who want to want to use Clary Sage, and they ask me it'll reduce your risk for recurrence of breast cancer thirty percent. That's an Iranian study. That's some validation. It's a good study. It looked like. Mm -hmm. um, and um, um, yeah, Clary Sage is cool. That is cool one. Yeah. Um, what do you suggest progesterone for women who have the progesterone receptor positive breast cancer? Use it. Take more. I learned this in, where I was doing endocrinology research. The farm diesel told me one day they grabbed me and said, you can't tell patients not to use progesterone when they have breast cancer. They should use more of it because it, it attaches to that PR receptor, that PR receptor, the progesterone receptor, and causes apoptosis of the breast cancer. It pops it. If you doubt me, Go to PubMed and search progesterone and apoptosis. Apoptosis, you'll see, I think it's 2,100 articles come up. It causes apoptosis of breast cancer cells. It's amazing. It is. It does not cause breast cancer. It has never been shown to cause breast cancer. Not one study has shown it causes breast cancer. The synthetic progestational agents, which are terrible, would and do and have and have been shown. So then the doctors, the researchers that write the articles and doctors conflate the two all the time. They're wrong. Look at my book, Progesterone. Even that menopause book, the Healthy Menopause and Essential Oil book, I have the list of the benefits of progesterone. But get my progesterone book or get my, if you 
if you have breast cancer, have, have a family member who does, get my uh, The Breast Cancer Patient Survival Guide. All those books have been number one mm-hmm. bestsellers on Amazon for a reason. I've never been sued for them. Good luck I'm trying to sue me for them because the research is heavy in them. They're really helpful. Yeah. Um, real quick, we're getting a lot of where should you apply these essential oils like clear sage or progesterone? Not in plus? your eye. Not in the Anywhere eye. Anywhere else is probably okay. Is there anywhere that's optimal for women's? I know they think there is. Um, no. I just wondered. Arm, you don't want any, yeah, you know, wherever your tummy, thighs. Makes sense. Bumby. I don't know where you want to put it. What about thyroid decline in menopause? Wait. Oh. The fifteen dollar off code for the Ceramex is the word wrinkle, because Ceramex really gets rid of wrinkles. Just look at that forehead. Look at me. No wrinkles. How many Don't times have you been playing it a day? Like 28. No, I'm no, kidding. No. <laughs> like three. If I remember, maybe two or three. He has such good skin, too. Oh, you man. Mean? It's made my skin so much better. Tell him how old you are. 103. <laughs> no, but he honestly has some of the best skin. I wish I had those genetics, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm sure I've gone to. Okay. So uh, I think it's a misnomer. I don't think thyroid declines in menopause any more than it does any other time, but there's a perception it does. So, um, no. So thyroid does not decline in menopause. That's not a hormone you often... No. It just, in general, does. For 30%, women. 33% of Americans have hypothyroidism. I've heard numbers as high as 70 if this time goes by. Man. Yeah. 70%. What do you suggest from young living women? Myrtle. For thyroid Myrtle health? essential oil. Myrtle. I've heard lemongrass too, essential oil, um, selenium, zinc, and thyromin. Mm. Thyromin. If they're not young living, myrtle. Just myrtle oil? No. And I take selenium and zinc supplements myself, and that's when I saw my thyroid got better was when I took those with my MTHFR. If you don't have adequate zinc and selenium supplies. I see them all the time as low on that CNA. Uh, we do with the redox, all that. Um, it'll affect your insulin receptor functionality and your manufacturing of thyroid hormone. Is that why uh, so many people with thyroid have like um, hair loss? And zinc is the number one cause of hair loss in women. Yeah. A zinc deficiency. So it's all related through that. More than they know. I don't think thyroid problems cause hair loss. I think what's causing the thyroid problem is causing the hair loss. It makes sense. And I get a lot of pseudo hypothyroidism. We talked about in that thyroid um, Facebook Live we did, where they have a selenium or zinc deficiency. They can't make adequate amounts of thyroid. Yeah. That's why we do that vitamin panel. I know you guys get sick of me preaching about it, but They're man, really that's sure. good. Yeah, would you rather take some vitamins for three to four months or take thyroid the rest of your life? Erroneously. Yeah. So true. Yeah. What is the benefit of taking natural progesterone? They are many and numerous. Get, see my progesterone book uh, on Amazon. I listed them also in that thyroid, sorry, in that healthy menopause and essential oil book. Um, and so th- then that's just it was an early list. I keep keep developing all the time. But if you want to update them, one, get my progesterone book. But it's in that most of them are in that that. Healthy menopause and in uh, essential oil book. There are a lot of them. Yeah. Tons. I think fifty. Yeah, you put a list. Fifty plus. <laughs> yeah. And they're all referenced. Yeah. What about testosterone? What are the benefits? We have that. They can download for free if, um, from our page, can't they? That thirty plus benefits of testosterone for women. Yeah. Email. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, email the office and we can send it over to you. Or can they give it? How about giving us your email? What's the link? We'll trade you our email, your email, so we can email you every day. I'm kidding. We might email every quarter um, for you that list. That list, That's a great list. I'm trying to remember the link. I can post a link of just that. Yeah. Just that. Because I always forget. We're doing good. Um, let's see. If someone is in early menopause or ovarian failure, what is the testing that you get Oh, first? man. 
Interest. Sorry, I, I got excited. I cut you off. Um, the interest rate or vitamin, mineral, amino acid, antioxidant panel. Why? We before it'd be the spectral. Now it's called the CNA plus redox, because they're probably malnourished. Unless someone hit them in, with a baseball bat in the ovaries, or they got in a truck car accident or truck accident, and the steering wheel killed their ovaries. <laughs> they shouldn't be in menopause. Yeah. Until they get their or late forties. The 50s and what if someone has osteopenia or osteoporosis what testing would you get same 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 the only one ever corrects those intracellular vitamin deficiencies they put them all those really i don't like them the bisphosphonates and other drugs for um for osteoporosis i 75 percent rate of side effects on some of those i would not take them i would i've never prescribed them um i never will um because you can do it naturally. You can flip the osteoporosis naturally. Get my osteoporosis book. Hey, if you're on Amazon, get my my <laughs> dollar. Just stock up, guys. Stock yeah, up. Just, yeah, buy the book now and read it. I'll tell, yeah, and replace Spectra's out with the new CNA, which is a lot better test for less. It's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the American way? It's faster. It's quicker. It's more accurate. It's better. It does three times the, the test results, mm -hmm. and it's cheaper. Yep. <laughs> What about multivitamins? What ones do you recommend for women in menopause? Well, I, I helped design um, Master Formula. Mm. If you're young and living, go for it. It's a great multivitamin and super cow. I know Gary liked uh, whatever the other cow was. I like super cow. So take two a day, three a day. Uh, and essential D. So what you may not need the CNA after you do all that. I tell patients to do all that. For 90 days, and if they still feel like crap, we'll do the CNA. Yeah. Or, But if you have bad osteo or osteopenia or osteoporosis, we'll do the CNA quickly. Okay, go ahead. So we're getting all our ad stuff in, aren't we? Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> we kind of talked about this. What if someone has hair loss and is in early menopause? Is that? The Vitamin deficiency. So there's a really good book. Don't get it because I'm going to tell you the punchline right here. <laughs> um it's called The Ball Truth About Women's Hair Loss by Spencer David Coburn. Really the landmark book about women's hair loss. That if you deal with hair loss issues for women, you should read it. I was, I was in that, that plastic surgery group and did all that stuff for years. So I get all these hair, women want hair transplants. We never did them because I dealt with them through, they have, the bunch of vitamin deficiencies. I dealt with their vitamin deficiencies. Hair would come back. Yeah. The new test we got is even better. Hey, uh, I've seen a few for that already, and we've got hair regrowth. So. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, what causes skin to start wrinkling when menopause hits? Lack of estradiol. Really? Interesting. Yeah, more than anything. And what's the best option for that wrinkling skin? Well, you get on estradiol, anything? but that's not what it's about time. You know what I got? What really works, I'll tell you, is Ceramax. So ask me why. Ask why? Me. Come on, ask me. Okay. Why? For 50 years, uh, SOD1 has been used for anti-wrinkling and cosmetics. You didn't know that, did you? Most of the cosmetics you're using have a little trace of superoxide dismutase 1 in them because it's supposed to help with wrinkling. They didn't do it correctly. Our, we, do, we do SOD1 correctly like we do glutathione correctly. And when you do it the way we do it, it becomes a super anti-wrinkler. you got to try it. Um, if you have a lot of wrinkles or fine wrinkles or whatever, put it around your eyes, put it on your forehead, put it around, and give it about a week or two or three. It works really fast. It's really cool. You can feel it working too, by the way. It cools your face off and drops the temperature and helps you sleep at night too. So, Soothing, they would uh, say. Soothing, skin rejuvenating. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it makes your skin really soft. Yeah. Like a baby's bottom. <laughs> okay, that's weird. It's true. Um, is there, I'm getting into these questions that they're asking in the comments okay, now. Let's see the that way we can pick, because if you guys were listening at the beginning, we're going to pick four of you to receive an autographed book of his essential oils of menopause with Dr. Purser's signature and mine. Healthy menopause and essential oils. Whatever. Whatever the name is. <laughs> so let's get to some of these comments so we can see which one stumps him. No, I'm just kidding. Is there a relationship between menopause and gut issues such as Crohn's? Absolutely. Crohn's is absolutely because Crohn's 
what I'm finding out in the last two years that my Crohn's patients, my ulcerative colitis patients, are really horrible Crohn's cases. I've flipped. I flip. I can't cure it. I can just improve it a lot. Um, they have one massive vitamin deficiencies. Two, their hormones have pretty well shut down. They're malnourished. The ones I get are less than 100 pounds. Some of them less than 90. Yeah. They look terrible, and they all have been bad MTHFR. Who knew? I don't know if that's just the nine or ten I've looked at. Yeah. I don't get it. It's but we flip them, and I'm real proud of that. So I get them on a really good probiotic, and I get them on their vitamins, which is really hard for them to take because they're so sick. Uh, but we've got rid of their anal fissures, their rectal fissures, their, the pitons they have in their fissures that are little uh, – they hold the fissure together. They're terrible. Um, and, uh, and other things, we've, got, we've healed all that up. You know what heals the fissures? The glutathione. Glutathione. Yeah. Yeah, the new spray would be really good for that because they have to apply it back there. But, man, it heals it. And these guys have had them for two or three years. Yeah. Now they have none. They're walking around. They weigh 180 pounds. They're normal. Yeah. I still think if they, they still have Crohn's, I can't cure it. But mm -hmm. it's just as them. Give, it's not giving any symptoms. It's not so the same. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> it's good to hear from your doctor. <laughs> when it's helping. <laughs> sure what I'm doing. Does progesterone encourage fibroid growth? Lack of progesterone encourages fibroid mm. growth. Lots of studies have shown that. Years of lack of progesterone is what causes the fibroids. That's what a lot of uh, the researchers think. Progesterone, natural progesterone can, and in my experience, shrinks about 70% of those fibroids. Not a lot, but it will shrink them. And help them stop bleeding, thirty or forty percent. Eh, you can't touch. They're just wild beasts. Yeah. And look up U UAE. That's what I like to use for that uterine artery embolization. They don't have to do a, 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 a hysterectomy. The radiologists do the procedure, and it's really slick. You have a heavy period for a day or two. Fibroids gone. Man. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. So if you're younger and got fibroids and don't want to have a hysterectomy, look at UAE. Yeah. Uterine artery embolization. Okay, go ahead. No, that's interesting. Back to another connection with menopause. Would joint issues be connected to menopause, especially oh, yeah. hands and knees? Yeah, back to Ceramex again. Ceramex is a pain gel. It's got an FDA NDC number. It's a registered pain gel. Um, we originally developed for ALS because they can't make SOD1, familial type ALS. Um, and what we found in our preclinical trials is it's getting rid of pain. In their joints and everywhere. It shocked us. So when we're going after a number of FDA approvals and we're getting studies done, it's been a lot of money. So where can they get Ceramex? What? Where can they get Ceramex? A Ceramex dot com or physician designed dot com. Go there. The coupons so I assume, only on Ceramex yeah, right, right now. Coupons only on Ceramex dot com or AO Biologics. Okay. Which the coupon is fifteen dollars off and you can use the code wrinkle. Don't you're not oh. supposed to say it again. Well, I did. Why did you do that? It's a secret the word. Who have joined us now in we had downtown. yeah. Can you believe that, Jackson? No. no. What? <laughs> Can't pass bleep. Can't bleep. The well, word. I gave some more people a chance to take. Ceramics.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't tell them that. Don't say the word Don't again. Say it again. It's a secret. Okay, now go ahead and read what. Okay. Another question. What do you suggest for an entire night's sleep when you're in menopause? Lots of natural progesterone yeah. and melatonin. Those two together. Reduce your risk for breast cancer, super antioxidant. And progesterone, you take enough natural progesterone, you'll sleep like a baby. Yeah. Especially if you take enough of it. Not men. Men will too, but they'll have no libido forever. Don't give so. it to them. Um, how is cortisol impacted by menopause? Is it? Not. Interesting. See right now. Yeah. Does being, does having MTHFR affect your menopause symptoms? That's an interesting one. If you haven't dealt with your MTHFR by the time you get into menopause, yeah, it's going to affect your symptoms. Deal with your MTHFR properly. Take a good methylation support product. Take enough of them so you feel good and you haven't over methylated. Like our Endura, our MTHFR Endura, MTHFR Renew. Um, 
Uh, some people have to take five or six a day. Some take two or three. Some mm -hmm. take one. Yeah. I take half a tiny bite. <laughs> Figure that one out. Um, yeah. I'm seeing a lady this week who has four methylation errors. She's going to be on the half a tiny bite. Yeah. Like like her, her doctor. How important is omega gize for someone in menopause or perimenopause? I take it. I think it's a good product. Is that fish well, oil? Well, I mean, know what I really think. What? Is that fish oil? Mm -hmm. gotcha. We'll leave it right there. Okay. Let's find another one. Um, will brain injuries affect menopause? Yeah, I suppose if you get your pituitary damage, it'll put you right into menopause or ovarian failure. Yeah. I know, because of my pituitary damage, I was in testicular failure. Someone asked that you summarize each hormone, like what to take with each hormone that you've mentioned. You bet. Let's do it. Cool. So, progesterone. You can use chastery berry or you can use um, a natural progesterone or progesterone plus. Those are your options when your progesterone goes down. Um, when your testosterone goes down, DHEA, pregnenolone, or natural testosterone cream, compounded cream. Your two options, not the shot. Don't ever do the shot. And not, and pellets are all right. There's no pill. If the doctor gives you a pill for testosterone, not you real. need to just hand it back to him <laughs> because it's it's going to give you breast cancer, high risk for breast cancer. So, um, estradiol is next. Mm -hmm. um, what did I say for that? Clary sage. Clary, yeah, clary sage, clary all of fluorescence. Lavender. Um, Lavender, you're right, is estrogenic. So, uh, yeah, so those. Those. Yeah, or estradiol, natural estradiol. Um, and I have women who choose uh, the the rainbow. I just, who knows? I don't, I don't know what they're going to ask for. I have to be light on my feet and give them what they need and want. Uh, my job is to make them happy and to get them healthy. Um, DHEA, pregnenolone. PD8020 from Young Living, or you can get DHA and pregnant alone at 25 milligrams twice a week from Pure Encapsulations on Amazon. I don't have a deal with them. Um, or you can use, you can get them compounded too. So, thyroid, I like uh, myrtle, uh, zinc, selenium, or uh, thyromin from Young Living. Yep. That's good. That was a good wrap up. I talk about them all day long. I know. <laughs> Um, what about weight loss in menopause? That's always something people or women struggle with is losing weight. Back to if you have vitamin deficiency, you have low testosterone, you haven't dealt with your hormones, it's going to be harder. Mm -hmm. You're going to get fluffy and round. So address those and it'll address come Address those it. first and all the rest comes. You can work out and lose weight and get there. Um, let's see. You got a pretty good idea who the four are. Don't say them There's now. Been so many questions. Oh. It's actually been really good. So, this woman last said, question. This is the last one. Yeah, because we're up forty-five minutes, and they get bored oh, after I write one. You've wow. got four hundred and eight people watching you right now. Hey, you guys! Thank you for watching. <laughs> Download my book. I'll be at once, and it'll go to number one on Amazon. Period. Be great. Hey, can we do a screenshot of that when they do that? <laughs> Everyone, go download it now. You're so funny. It's 99 cents. What about Lexapro for menopause? I've seen that mentioned a couple times. Oh, good Lord. So don't do that. I'm not going to comment. Okay. No, it's not <laughs> common. I've never prescribed it for them. Gotcha. Um, I think they caught my drift. <laughs> this is a good one. If you're having lots of menopause symptoms, how do you figure out what you need? Start with basics, go up, start with progesterone, dealing with that issue first, then testosterone, then DHA, pregnenolone, and finally estradiol. One of them's going to get rid of your symptoms or all of them will. <laughs> they said, we're not bored, trust us. <laughs> um, let me see. We have so many questions. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get through all these. What about migraines and menopause? Like a progesterone or um, 
we're going to do the next Facebook Live. Get ready two weeks. Uh, hang on, let's see what it is. It's going to be on migraines. Um, a novel approach to migraines that might that just might work. It works every time I do it. So and it's natural. Yeah. So stay tuned for that one. Yeah, I, I'm sure I, I get a limited number of migraine patients, probably like four or five a, a month. But man, I've been so lucky with it, good with it. I call them fibro migraines, but if anyone's out there and I've treated you for migraines and you're listening, make a comment, you know, because I've probably gotten you better. If I haven't, say that I haven't, but, um, but I haven't missed on anyone in a while with it. So we'll talk about that novel approach, a novel natural approach to migraines that just might work. I'd say from my patients it works probably 98% of the time, almost always. Yeah. What about testing um, hormones? Like, do you recommend saliva testing or serum testing or what's I don't care what you do. First off, if you're in menopause, they're going to be low. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm, I don't really care. Don't, don't waste your money. So time you don't need don't, testing. Just I don't need testing. I'll go by your symptoms, everything. We'll test them, follow them. Yeah. We can test if you want, if you feel safer. But you're in menopause. Yeah. It's not like you're making anything. What about, so someone said, how can I be a patient on long distance from you? Well, this stuff, and I'll say write prescriptions. You'll have to come and see me. But um, but if it's for all this natural stuff and vitamin deficiencies, all that, you, that's not really a medical issue. So I'm, I can do it over the phone. Yeah. yeah I'm not diagnosing or, or anything. I'm like, say, wow, you're kind of low in vitamin C and vitamin D and K. And yeah, you must feel horrible. I do. So, yeah. So, or take these hormones. I'm trying to save you guys money. That's why I did this Facebook Live tonight. Now you know what to take. Yep. Without having to come and see me. Can uh, menopause cause lower spine and bone pain? Yeah, because it causes you start lack of testosterone and everything else. Your muscles don't work as well. Uh, you, you get osteoporosis in that lower spine. Yeah, sure can. It's called osteoarthritis. It sucks. What about everything that you've talked about? Can that all be applied to like surgically, surgical menopause where you yep. get a hysterectomy? Yep, everything? I don't care what the cause is. It's all the same? Yep. Especially with those, they're gone completely, all their hormones. Yep. Right? Not all, but all their ovarian hormones. Gotcha. Um, sorry, there's just so many. Have they enjoyed this? I think they're really liking this Facebook Live. Tell your friends about it. Have them come and look at it. Zip. You're what getting my, my healthy menopause and essential oil talk. Tonight, you got it. Can you be too high in progesterone? And what comes along with that? Pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. So the last day, first day of pregnancy, most women have a progesterone of anywhere from 1 to 23. Nine, the, nine, the, the last day of pregnancy, it's, over, it's like over 900. Yeah. So that's when it's high. I have women who have uh, severe endometriosis due to lack of genetic, lo genetic lack of progesterone receptors. They're born without, usually half their progesterone receptors are gone. I think it's the beta receptors are gone. And they need a lot of progesterone. They'll take 15 or 18 of those progesterone RDTs, 200 milligrams and they have severe endometriosis. Their progesterone levels are regularly around 500, 600, 300, and they get relief, they feel normal. So mm -hmm. you, I don't know. I don't know if there's a limit. Yeah, you'll be really sleepy if you take it up too high, but without progesterone receptors, those women don't really get sleepy. Yeah. Well, they're different, they're different. What was that um, essential oil you recommend for testosterone for women? Oh, you would ask me not. I know the name. Mountain Savory. Good job. Yeah, I forgot to mention it earlier in the other group. Yeah, that's why I was. Shoot. Mountain Savory. Yeah, I've been used for years for them. Yeah. Well. Okay. We've got lots of comments coming in, but we, we can wrap up for tonight. You guys have been great. Do you want me hey. to pick comments now, or should I pick them?
tomorrow and we can announce. Begin tomorrow. Okay. You, you're really good at it. So keep your comments coming I mean, in. I want to approve them, though. Yeah. Keep your comments coming in. I'll have to write in. the book. We'll the keep book. getting you guys uh, answered. And, yeah. If you have anyone that has bad migraines, they get them daily. They have them every day or every other day or three or four times a month. And they're severe. Have them watch my next Facebook Live. We can really dig into that and I'll help them with it. Yeah. It's a simple approach. If nothing else has worked, they got to watch that Facebook Live. I think I may, have, may be able to help them. It's novel. It's never, well, I think I'm the only one doing it, but it works every time yeah. almost with my patients because they failed with everything and they don't like going to the ER. So I want pain meds. Um, so yeah, be ready for that. Yeah. Two weeks from tonight. I love you all. You know what? Thank you. You guys help us. We, we love you all very much. And we, yeah, we're touched by your interest. 400 people. Wow. That's a lot. I bet this will reach out to 50 to a hundred thousand people maybe. So we'll see how many look at it. That's a lot. He loves helping everyone he can. Yeah. So someone uh, real quick, someone asked if serum X is for pain or for wrinkles. Both. <laughs> Loaded oh, yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're actually working to deal with a really big cosmetic company. We're going to leave it right there. They're international uh, because the stuff is off the charts cool. So um, you want to get rid of some of those wrinkles? Try it. It's crazy. So, um, and no, rubbing it on your husband will not make that wrinkle go away. But my, it won't make him go away. I'll probably love it. I'll love it more. <laughs> probably stay around more. <laughs> okay. I'm teasing. So, um, yeah, well, I try it on if you're getting it for your joints or you have some, try it on your face. Clean your face up good and put it on. It's crazy what it does. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, well, I love you all. Thank you. God bless you all and go in good health. Oh, 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 oh